In so many ways, video games handle plot twists so much better than any other medium. It's you who has to navigate being betrayed, left for dead, fighting some unseen horror that's now emerging from the ceiling, or just finding your way out of a conversation with your head intact after the villain has been revealed. Smart video game writers know all of this and can directly incorporate the player's expectations into their twists, allowing them to manipulate you in any number of surprising ways. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are nine plot twists that change how you see video games. Oh, and also note there will be spoilers for the games mentioned. Number 9. The Turing Test Droning on The Turing Test begins as aptly named engineer Ava Turing is woken from stasis by an AI named Tom. This charming chap informs you that he's lost contact with the research crew and needs you to investigate. You discover that the crew have fashioned the research base itself into a complex series of puzzle chambers, designed to keep artificial intelligences at bay. These are the titular Turing Tests, only solvable by humans. With all this ominous foreshadowing, there was bound to be a killer twist. And it turns out that Ava is actually a drone, a human puppet being remotely operated by Tom. The story then shifts up a gear from here on in, but what's more surprising is that the gameplay is also augmented in a way that you rarely see. Now that Ava is aware that Tom is controlling her, the player can shift between multiple perspectives, taking control of Tom's surveillance cameras and robots to assist Ava in solving puzzles. It's kinda like playing co-op with yourself, and makes you consider the very idea of player agency and AI becoming one. Number 8. Half-Life Alex: The Vault With Half-Life 2 ending on the death of Eli Vance, this is then alluded to a number of times throughout the prequel Half-Life Alex, despite the small issue that it hasn't actually happened yet. So if you're someone who subscribes to the linear nature of time like most of us, this should be setting alarm bells off that something major is coming. Cut to the end of the game when Alex reaches the core of a combine vault, and a spooky silhouette turns out to be G-Man, the omnipotent reality-altering entity at the center of Half-Life mystery. G-Man shows Alex the future, Eli's death and that infamous cliffhanger. He allows Alex to prevent this future event from occurring, altering the course of time itself and allowing the Half-Life series to continue. With this change fulfilled, all of Half-Life is now up for grabs. You see the final few seconds of Half-Life Alex through Gordon Freeman's eyes as he's handed a crowbar from the now alive Eli. Going forward, it feels like anything could come together, past, present and or future. Gordon Freeman is back and after a decade of of wondering, Half-Life 3 is finally happening. Number 7. Undertale – Everything with Flowey the first character you meet in the almighty Undertale is a tiny flower by the name of Flowey. He seems pretty harmless until he tries to kill you, then he slays the king and mocks you for trying to save him. Then though, the game crashes, booting you back to your desktop. When you start it again, the intro cinematic glitches out and your save file has now been replaced by one that reads Flowey, my world. Load this and Flowey will transform. Break the game's art style completely and if you lose, crash your game all over again, forcing you to restart the fight. Turns out that Undertale is in full control of your save file and overall progression. This interaction with Flowey is just the beginning of a brilliant meta-narrative involving tons of characters and lines of dialogue across the whole game that you'll only find by replaying. Number 6. Silent Hill 2 – A Shaggy Dog Story Silent Hill 2 is widely regarded as one of the greatest horror games ever to grace our screens. Or so it may seem, because deep within this suspenseful supernatural thriller lurks one of the most absurdly hilarious twist endings ever. It's only unlocked once you have completed the game's three main endings, so you do have to be pretty dedicated to find it. Completing these three things though allows you to find a key in a newly materialized dog kennel, which opens a secret door in the Lakeview Hotel, Mark's observation room. Head inside and you'll find a dog wearing a pair of headphones and operating some kind of control station with dozens of buttons and levers. Of course, it's a big old random joke, but if you've since seen Joss Whedon's Cabin in the Woods, it kind of feels like Konami got there first. This crafty canine was the mastermind behind the game's events, making you wonder what's really going on in all of your favorite games. Number 5. The Beginner's Guide Coda. Created by Davey Reardon, co-lead developer on The Stanley Parable, The Beginner's Guide is a game about game development. Reardon walks and talks the player through a series of experimental minigames created by his friend Coda, a reclusive game designer who underestimates his own talent. These games start off as charming minimalist experiences and grow increasingly surreal and unsettling. The twist happens towards the end, when Reardon receives an email from Coda with a private link to a game that's impossible to beat. Reardon cheats his way through and arrives at a startling message from 
from Coda, telling him to stop sharing his games with other people, i.e. you, and accusing him of altering his titles to suit the narrative of Coda as an emotionally tormented man. In reality, he just really enjoyed making weird games. The genius of the beginner's guide is through ambiguity. It's not clear to what degree the events depicted are real or fictional, and it stands as a testament to how much we can assume about a creator's mind and intent through the art that they create. Games, game developers, art, artists, creators, and creativity, maybe with a change in perspective, we've got it all wrong. Number four, Frog Fractions, Meta Maths. Frog Fractions is a cute, harmless educational flash game about solving simple fractions. At least it is for the first couple of minutes. What starts off as basic arithmetic soon expands into a metafictional mathematical masterpiece. With just a couple of simple upgrades, the friendly turtle on which the titular frog sits on transforms into a dragon fitted with a warp drive, allowing the frog to transcend the confines of its own reality. Along the way, the game eviscerates the fourth wall entirely, seeing the frog bound between many different game genres including a space shoot 'em up a visual novel, a rhythm game, a text adventure, and an ocean exploration game, accompanied by a lecture on the history of boxing. So bizarre, it's utterly brilliant, Frog Fractions pushed the medium of video games forward by deconstructing its very essence. Number three, Spec Ops The Line. Do you feel like a hero yet? Spec Ops The Line looked like any other mundane military shooter. You play as a soldier who looks like he's been ripped straight from an army recruitment poster, the gameplay is remarkably unremarkable, and the colour palette consists of 50 shades of beige. Ingeniously though, this is all a carefully crafted facade. Things quickly spiral out of control when you command player character Captain Walker to bomb a hostile area with white phosphorus, a horrific chemical weapon. As Walker approaches the scene, one of the victims of the attack pleads with him, asking why he did such a thing and saying to him, him, we were helping. In a moment of regretful realization, Walker rounds the corner to see his chemical attack has killed dozens of innocent civilians who the enemy soldiers were assisting. The disturbing image of a mother's charred corpse shielding her child's eyes haunts Walker for the rest of the game, and he continues on his mission, suffering various hallucinations as his sanity unravels. Number two, Doki Doki Literature Club, Monica. Doki Doki Literature Club begins with a warning. The game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Most players will breeze right past this without a second thought. After all, it's a cute anime dating sim, what could possibly be disturbing about that? And sure, the game appears to be absolutely harmless until the player discovers their best friend Sayori hanging from her bedroom ceiling. At this point, the game immediately ends, and upon starting a new playthrough, it glitches and freezes as if the files are corrupted. Group leader Monica seems decided nonchalant about the disturbing events, making you feel like something is really wrong. In the game's terrifying finale, it becomes clear that Monica has complete control over the game itself. She proceeds to address not only your in-game character, but the real you, confessing that she is completely obsessed with you and is fully aware that she's in a game. Monica manipulated the other characters to make them appear undesirable in an attempt to coerce you into falling in love with her. The only way to end this nightmare is to access the game's folder and manually delete Monica's character files. Long after the horror is over though, the question of whether there's a difference between player and player character remains, making you consider your connection to every game you play going forward. And number one, Bioshock, would you kindly? Yes, we've covered this twist so many times, but you literally can't talk about plot twists that made an impact and not talk about the one that upended the very way video game stories are told. Centered on weaponizing the very idea of tutorialization against you, Bioshock reveals that you're actually subtly brainwashed to respond to the phrase, would you kindly. Only your former friend Atlas has been saying this in a variety of ways when simply instructing you in how to proceed from place to place. It's hard to put into words how seismic this was in the late 2000s. In a world before all the memes and before this twist was common knowledge. Realizing creator Ken Levine had found a way to embed a narrative twist into the very fabric of our interaction with games was and still is nothing short of genius. Going forward though, this broke everything. Fans began questioning why anybody was doing anything, from Sonic collecting rings to chicken legs as power-ups in Streets of Rage. Free will in video games had a whole new dimension and nothing would ever be the same again. And those are my picks for various plot twists that change the way you see video games. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below and please check out the What Culture Gaming podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com and I'll catch you soon.